When Wanda Potowska was a young girl, she participated in Poland's resistance against the Nazis. She was later captured by the Gestapo and was deported to Ravensbrück concentration camp. That's where Adolf Hitler's personal doctor, Karl Gebhardt, subjected her to horrific medical experiments. Wanda says her curiosity to find out how far human cruelty could go was the only thing that kept her alive. After the war, she went home completely demoralized and began searching for a priest to help her reconcile with humanity. At the concentration camp, I witnessed an inhumane way of being a man and a woman. But at the same time, I also saw heroic acts. That's why I couldn't understand who is the true human person. Eventually, I found the answer with the help of the anthropology of the priest and philosopher, Carol Boitiwa. That's how her friendship of more than 50 years started. From 1950 until his death, Karo Wojtyła was a confessor, spiritual guide, and personal friend to Wanda Poltowska and her husband, Andre. In fact, the couple assisted the late Pope when he wrote Love and Responsibility and The Acting Person. In 1962, Wanda was diagnosed with cancer. The doctors gave her little chance to live. Karo Wojtyła wrote to Padre Pio, asking him to pray for her healing. Miraculously, the cancer disappeared without a trace. Proof of Vanda's friendship with the Pope is spelled out in hundreds of letters they would send each other over the span of 55 years. Vanda would write to him about her reflections on scripture readings that Karl Wojtyla would suggest. He would later add his own ideas. Now Vanda is publishing memoirs of her friendship with the late pontiff. In one letter, Karl Wojtyla recognizes how God had saved him from going to a concentration camp because Vanda had gone in his place. That's why he would refer to Vanda as his little sister and he would sign the letter, Your Brother Carl. When I met him, I first wanted to see what he would talk about, how he would celebrate Mass. I witnessed how he prayed and understood. He was a saintly priest. I, I could see that from the first instant. The strong bond between the Potowskas and Karl Wojtyla remained even after he became Pope. The Potowskas would attend Christmas gatherings at the Vatican, spend time with them over the summers at Castel Gandolfo. When the Pope was sick, Vanda read books to him out loud so he could rest. His secret is that he loved all human beings. It didn't matter if they were good, bad, or thieves. He treated everyone with love, like Jesus would. He was truly a vicar of Christ on earth. Many biographies exist on John Paul II, but the profile outlined in Diario di una Amicizia, A Diary of Friendship, by Wanda Poltowska is special. It documents 55 years of a friendship and a new side of Karo Wojtyla, the one of a spiritual guide.